Hi guys, happy Tuesday. I wanted to pop on live and welcome you to our inside peak. Um, hopefully this will stay steady enough because I am holding my phone. My computer camera is not working right now. So it is what it is. We do the best we can with what we have, right? So welcome to our inside peak into coaching. I am so excited that you guys are here. Hi. Some people are popping on live. So I am going to, I am running a little bit late today. It's just one of those days around here. So I'm going to get our cover image updated with the new dates so people know what's going on and share a whole bunch of stuff with you guys um, throughout the rest of the day about what coaching is. Uh, but I wanted to pop on to begin with and just welcome you to our inside peak. I am so happy that you are here, that you are open to just finding out a little bit more information about what it is that we do as coaches. Uh, if you've been in this group for a while, um, you probably kind of know the format, but basically we will just be sharing some videos and some information about what coaching is, how some of us got here, um, what coaching has done for our lives and what the possibilities are and then just kind of the details of like because a lot of people are like well what does a coach really do and I hope that I'm going to illustrate some of that um, in this video for you as well so uh, my name is Annie if you don't know me um, I am 38, almost 39 in like two weeks, which is crazy. I don't feel that old. Um, but not that it's that old. Uh, but it just feels like this last few years have just blown by. I am a mom of three. So I have a six-year-old who is in kindergarten and a three-year-old and a two-year-old just turned two. Um, and both of them are now in preschool. My little guy, uh, the older two are girls, and my youngest is a boy, and he just started school right after his birthday. So um, this is the first time since I have been a coach that I have actually not had a kid uh, with me at some point, like at all times during the day. Um, so... I've been a coach for a little bit over five years now, which is crazy too. <laughs> it, it really does not seem that long. Um, but when I started, uh, so basically, let me tell you a little bit about how I got here, because this is about the last thing on the face of the earth that I ever envisioned myself doing. Um, I went to college uh, with a communications degree and... I got a web design degree as well, and I, right out of college, decided I was going to be a freelance web designer and started up that business, and my husband and I, at the same time, also started an automotive business, which was kind of his dream, um, and I very quickly basically went to be pretty much working in the automotive business uh, full time because he really needed help with all the financials and bookkeeping and stuff. And that is not what I went to school for at all. It is not what I envisioned for my life, um, but it's what I was really good at, it turned out, and um, what he needed. So I worked in that business. Um, I worked all the jobs. I managed the shop. I did the books. I... Um, did like all the sales stuff for a while, customer service, inventory parts, like you name it. I have basically done every single thing there. Um, and so I went from having a little bit more of an active lifestyle. I was never an exerciser though. I was, I never really exercised. I was just very active, like went for hikes, you know, we had a dog and uh, took dog for walk all the time. So I went from being a lot more active to sitting behind a desk for both my web design, freelance stuff, and our automotive business. And I, we were eating like crap too. I mean, we were working just insane hours. We were working like six, seven days a week. And I, like I said, I was just sitting on my butt all of a sudden 
all the time and when we weren't working I was so exhausted I literally just sat on my butt some more and eating pizza and wings and beer and donuts and soda like whatever was fast and convenient and easy to get um and then you know the caffeine in the morning to get myself going and the beer lots of beer at night to help myself unwind and relax and it was not a healthy lifestyle not at all um but health hadn't really been on my radar but I started to put on a fair amount of weight and on top of that my doctor started to tell me uh you know what your blood pressure and your cholesterol are like completely through the roof like you have to do something about this or you're gonna have to go on medication and that's gonna be basically a rest of your life kind of thing and I have a history of heart disease on both sides of my family I have a history of stroke on both sides of my family and I knew the path that I was going down I could see it bright as day right in front of me I saw where I was headed and I was in my early mid 20s at that point I did not want to go down that path I did not want to be on medication for literally my entire life um and I knew that I should be able to make the changes and have a healthier lifestyle uh so I decided to try but the problem was I just didn't have the knowledge I didn't have the tools I didn't have the resources it sounds like oh you own your own business you have tons of money no we were broke as a joke everything was going on a credit card um, it was during you know the end part of this was like in the recession like things were not good we were so stressed out financially so I couldn't just go hire a personal trainer and hire a nutritionist to tell me what to do like that didn't exist in my world there was no way um so I you know I tried running and I hate running even to this day sorry if you like running I know some of my best friends love running and I am not a runner um I tried going to the gym, but I am a super, super, super shy person, uh, or I was <laughs> getting better with that, but I was so shy and I would, I didn't know what I was doing. So I'd go into a gym and I would have just this massive anxiety and not know what to do. And I'm sure whatever it was that I was doing was not getting me any closer to being healthier. Um, and so I just felt stuck. I tried all kinds of quick fixes, like those like appetite suppression pill things you can get at the pharmacy. And shapewear was like, I, I literally had like a fortune invested in shapewear. And those little shoes that are supposed to like exercise your legs when you walk, like any little quick fix because I like the, the working out and the eating healthy, I didn't know what I was doing and it wasn't working for me. Um, so I just felt stuck and I had basically resigned myself to the fact, you know what, I am just one of those people who is going to be overweight for my whole life and I'm just going to be on these medications because I clearly like, clearly this is what, like where I am headed and I can't fix this myself. Like I have not been able to fix this or find something that worked and I had basically just given up. Um, and a friend... He, he knew I was really struggling um, and had basically just given up on myself. And a friend of his had told him about this workout program that you do at home and it was really intense stuff uh, and it came with nutrition help and all of that. Um, and he said, you know what, why don't you just check this out? I've never done it. I've never really heard about it. But my friend was saying how cool it looked. And, you know, maybe that's something that would work for you. Because that was the other problem. Like I said, we were working insane hours. So just trying to like fit stuff in. And I didn't want to be going to the gym at like midnight being out by myself. Um, so doing something at home seemed like it might work better for me. Um, and having a program to follow, like that's what I needed because like I said I didn't know anything about exercise I had never exercised before I had never been into sports I had never had anybody show me what to do um, and this was 
horrors before the days of like YouTube and all of that, where you could just look that kind of thing up. Um, so I got this program and I started doing it and it was really, 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 really hard because it was an extreme workout program and I was not in any shape to be doing an extreme workout program. But I had told myself, you know what, just do the best that you can do. Just do what you can do. Even if it doesn't look like anything of what's going on on that TV screen, just do the best that you can do. Um, and they had me tracking like how many push-ups I could do and what weight I was using and how many reps on this little sheet of paper. I would write it all down every workout. And after about the first week, I was like, you know what? Like, I don't feel like I'm making progress, but the sheet says I'm making progress. And the second week, the sheet said I was making progress again. And then the weight started to come off. And that was the first glimmer of hope I had had like basically ever in terms of my health. And I was like, you know what, I can do this. So that, I found these programs that worked for me. They just, they worked for me. They worked for my schedule. Um, and I enjoyed doing them. And that was the missing piece for me. Like, like I said, I hate running. I'm not going to go out and run all the time and stay consistent with it if I don't like it. So I found these things that worked for me and I was basically just happy plugging along doing these workouts for like five years. The weight came off. I felt great. My nutrition was getting a little bit better kind of slowly by slowly. Uh, I gave up soda. That was like the, my nutritionally, that was like one of my hugest victory. But for me, that was like a really big deal was to give up drinking soda, not just not just regular soda, but give up diet soda too. Um, and I knew that I needed to be healthy because we wanted to start a family. And so I, my first daughter came along, I got pregnant and we had my first daughter and I was so happy to be a mom. I had wanted to be a mom for as long as I can remember. Uh, and I was working from home for our shop and she is just so I could stay with her all the time. And I was trying to get rid of the baby weight because that's what you, for most people, that doesn't just happen naturally. Um, you have to, you know, be a little bit conscientious about it. So I went back to these workouts that worked so well for me. And along the way, I thought, you know what, I... I really need help with nutrition. Like that was still kind of the the mystery piece for me. And honestly, it is still what I'm challenged with the most, even to this day. Um, but I have the tools now. I know what works for me and I know what I can go back to when I kind of get off track. But that's a little side note. Uh, so I was in this mom's group on Facebook because even though things seemed like I should be really happy being a brand new mom and being able to stay at home with her. And I, I was, I love that, but I was lonely because I don't have, I didn't have, I should say, I didn't have a lot of friends. Um, I'm not one of those people that has like a million friends to turn to. So I had gotten onto Facebook and found these moms groups because my friends didn't have kids at that point either. So I was just kind of the few friends I did have, I was like, the first one. Um, so I met this girl on there, another mom who had a daughter who was just a little bit older than mine. And she was offering a free clean eating group. And I thought, you know what? Sign me up because free is my price tag that I can afford right now. And uh, let me just check it out. I don't know what this is about. Well, it turned out that she was a coach for the same company that made all these workouts that I loved. And I didn't really even make that connection until, um, you know, I had, had gotten signed up for a free account with her. And I was like, you know what? Like, this is that same company, huh? I didn't even know that you could be a coach. Like, I don't even know what a coach does. I didn't like, I didn't know you could be a coach. So I got into this group with her and it was, literally a, one of the big like life-changing milestones along my journey because it was a group of moms just like me who were all struggling with the same stuff that I was and 
when I had a really good day, they were there to cheer me on and tell me that I was doing amazing. And when I had a really tough day, they were there to say, you know what, it's okay because we all have tough days. We've all been there. We know what you're going through. Um, and you know what, tomorrow's gonna be better. You're gonna be fine. And that was the first time I had ever had that big support network and especially around my health and fitness. Before it was just kind of me doing it all by myself. Um, so I actually signed up to be a coach literally just for the discount on these workout programs that I love so much and I wanted to try. Um, I had drank their like after workout recover drink for a little bit and I had stopped uh, with the baby but I wanted to try this superfood shake that they had because I felt like it would just be a missing piece to my nutrition, which it was. I still drink it every single day, five years later. Um, but I felt like it would just be one meal in my day that I knew would be really healthy no matter what. Um, and I wanted a discount because like I said, we were really struggling financially and now we had a new baby in the mix. So I thought, you know what, well, got signed up for a discount and she kept telling me you don't have to coach you don't actually have to coach people and I'm like okay cool because I don't know what I'm doing I don't know what the frick I'm doing um all I know is how to follow these workouts <laughs> like that is all I know and so I get signed up as a coach and I thought well you know what it would be really cool because I have some some friends and acquaintances on Facebook, like some girls I went to high school with, I had reconnected with on Facebook, who really could use this clean eating thing that she was running. So I got them all into a group, just like she had done, and I got them to set up cu free customer accounts, just like she had done, because I thought, well, they have all these free resources on the website. Um, and I basically just copied all the things that she had shared about nutrition that had helped me so much and the little like daily challenges and all of that. And I was in there sharing them in my group. And I was also sharing about the workouts I was doing, this brand new program that had I dropped all the baby weight. I felt amazing. I was literally in the best shape of my entire life after a baby, which just blew my mind. Um, I'm sharing about the, you know, these shakes because I have so much energy and I feel so good. Um, and I finally feel like I am kind of getting the hang of this nutrition thing. And I'm just in that group sharing and inspiring people and cheering them on. And people in there were watching what I was doing and they wanted to do the same workout program. So I had a couple of these girls in there who ordered the same workout program that I was doing. And because I had had them sign up as a free customer of mine, I actually earned a commission on their purchase. Now, I don't want you to think like, oh, well, you didn't like, it just like money came for free. That's not how, that's not how this works. I was doing what a coach does without really realizing that's what a coach does. We share our journey. We inspire people. We help teach them knowledge. We hook them up with resources that are going to help them on their own journey. Um, and that's where the income comes from. So without even really realizing it, I had become a working coach. Um, and when that income hit my bank account, I was like, whoa, <laughs> okay, hold on just a minute here. Hold on a minute. Because I had always thought about like, we had always been so tight with money. And I had always thought about, let me go get a part-time job. And now with this new baby, there was no way I could, I already couldn't fit it into my schedule before the baby. And now with a baby, I was like, there is no way I can go out and get a part-time job. That is not happening. Um, but this, this I could do on my own time. If there was a day that I was too busy or crazy at work, I could just skip that day. I didn't have to, you know, have to actually, you know, sit down and work my business if I didn't want to, but I always wanted to because it was so inspiring. Um, it was so motivating. And that's, that's one thing that coaching is brought into my life. Like I said, I had never intended to do what I did with my husband's business. That was not 
my dream. Um, and I had given up my web design business a long time ago because it was just more than I could handle. I wasn't making any money. I didn't want to, you know, be out there. I didn't want to be running the entire business, like basically figuring out the the building blocks of it, right? Um, like building a business, you got to figure out how you're going to make it all work. Um, and that's one thing with my coaching business. It's basically like a business in a box. Everything's all set up for you. Products are all developed. Like all of it's already set up for you. You get to just go out and do like the more fun parts of the business, right? You get to go out and share your own personal journey and talk to people and meet people and inspire people. Um, and then once, once they're on board with you, then you get to, you know, motivate them and help them and answer their questions. And really that part for me was so fulfilling. And that was something that I didn't have in our other business. Our other business was not fulfilling for me. Um, it is now, which I'm going to share in a minute. Um, but yeah, up until that point, like I was not, I was good at what I did. I didn't like what I did. And that's a really tough place to be because people would look from the outside and feel like I had it all. And I, on the inside, though, didn't feel like I had it all. I felt like I was living this, like, fraud of a life that I should be more happy because other people were so happy for me. And I should be more happy, but I just wasn't because I didn't have that thing that that lit me up and was fulfilling in my life. And yes, I love being a mom and a wife. I love my husband and I love my kids, but I didn't have anything outside of that um, until coaching came along. And all of a sudden it turned into this thing. Um, I, to kind of finish out my little coaching story. So I, finally decided once that those that income started coming in and I got a couple paychecks I was like you know what I this is real like this is a real like real money going into my bank account this is real I'm gonna give this a shot I'm gonna see what happens if I go all in if I can earn income when I'm not even all in and like I'm doing what a coach does but I'm also not like really really trying what's gonna happen if I really really put the effort in and so that's when I went all in and uh, not a day has gone by that I have not been grateful, thankful, completely blessed by this opportunity um, to be a coach. And like I said, it's around my own schedule. I have grown so much as a person. Um, like I said, you're probably sitting there watching this and being like, wait a minute, I thought you said that you were shy. You don't really seem like you're shy. You're talking on video, on social media, which most people are terrified of. And believe me, five years ago, I was terrified of video. I was terrified of talking to anybody. I was one of those girls who would, like, we went to a party. I would sit in the corner and pray to God that nobody I didn't know would come talk to me because I didn't want to have to talk to somebody I didn't know. That was like the most uncomfortable thing on the face of the earth. Um, and I didn't have a big support system. Like I said, I didn't have my tribe. I hadn't found a place where I really ever in my life felt like I fit in. And once I got welcomed into our beach body like my larger team that I belong to but then also um the entire like just started meeting other coaches out there outside of our team and then started building a team of coaches myself that was when I was like oh wow like I have found this place but I've also created this place where like these are my people and they get me and for the first time in my life I really felt like I belonged somewhere I felt like I had a purpose that was greater than myself that was greater than being a mom and greater than being a wife and not to diminish those at all but it was, it was something that was mine and mine alone and that I could work as hard as I wanted 
if you can't tell, I'm very like, very like motivated by a challenge. And I like, I enjoy working. I like to work. And especially now that I found something I really, really truly enjoy, I really like to work, but I've always been a hard worker. Like I've always believed that I will outwork anybody. Um, and it was a place that I could keep growing myself and learning because that was something I was always a very good student. And I got out of school and felt kind of lost because I knew how to learn, but I didn't, the rest of it was harder. So coaching has given me a place where I can keep learning and keep developing my skills, keep learning about like I'm getting, I got one nutrition certification earlier this year for one of our programs. I'm working on another one right now. Um, just that constant lifelong learning and lifelong personal growth, working through some of the stuff that had been holding me back so much, like my shyness, my fears, my fear of failure, like so much stuff. Um, and that was part of my feeling stuck and out of control all the time was I was just living in such a place of fear and anxiety. And once I started to work through all of that, because that's also something we do every single day as a coach is we work on ourselves first and we work on our, our health and fitness journey, but we also work on our mindset. We also work on what is holding us back and we work on developing new skills and that has been just completely life changing. And I told you I was going to go back to how this fits into our other business. It is actually, it's made me a better boss, a better employer at our other company. Um, but not just in terms of my own personal leadership skills. It's also allowed me to figure out my place there. So I still do the bookkeeping and the finances. Um, I, we have hired other people to do a lot of the other things. Um, but the bookkeeping and the finances, like that's not what I really enjoy doing. Uh, I was able to take what I learned from coaching and I started a leadership development program at our work. And that is the area of our, of my other work that I love, love, love doing. And I've been able to, our other company has seen massive growth because of the leadership development program that I started. And I can guarantee you if it were not for coaching, I would not have, number one, I would not have started that. Our other business is more successful because of that. Um, but it also has given me a place there that, a, a thing to do there that I love and that makes me excited about that business too. And that has been completely invaluable. Um, and then I guess I probably should talk a little bit about the income. Now, obviously, like I said, I work for the income. It's not like I'm sitting back and like paychecks, like money's just rolling in. No, you have to do the work. Um, but that financial security and just having that second stream of income coming in has been completely just life changing for our family. Um, like I said, it has allowed me to stay home with my kids when they are really, really young. Every single one of them, um, until they were ready, they themselves were ready to start preschool. I was at home with them. I was with them every single moment of the day. And I, for me, that was really important. And I know, um, you know, we, we might not have had that luxury if it weren't for my coaching business. Uh, we, I, it, it's amazing just being able to work at home, um, and have them here. And, you know, now that, now that they're in school, I work part-time in the office and I work part-time at home, but just having that flexible schedule, if I need to say like, you know what, today, like they have a field trip, they have this, they have that, like they have, there's something they need me or want me to do at school. Um, even just little things like, Oh, like the kids want to go get ice cream or something. I can literally just stop what I'm doing. And I, now I'm at the point with them all in school, I can get my coaching work done while they're in school. And then the time that I have with them, I am so present, 100% present with them. Um, 
And for me, that has been one of the biggest gifts and the biggest blessings because I feel like I can be that stay at home mom that I always kind of, there's like that allure to it. Um, and I love being with my kids, but I also, like I said, I like working. So I can also do something where I am so fulfilled and have something outside of them. So I, I literally have the best of both worlds in terms of the stay at home mom, but, and being present with them and all of that, but then also having something that's my own and being able to bring in my own income and help support our family with this as well. All at the same time, all on my own schedule that I decide, and it can be different every single day, depending on what's going on with life. Every single day can look completely different if I want it to. Um, so that also has been great, uh, just like such, such a blessing and so life changing for me. And then just in terms of the income, I mean, it's, it's allowed the financial stress to be lifted for us. It's allowed little things like, I have somebody else come, hi, Emery. I have somebody else come clean my house for me because I don't like cleaning my house and I wanna spend time with my kids and with my husband on the weekends rather than cleaning my house. So my coaching income goes to pay somebody to come clean my house every other week, um, somebody to fold my laundry, uh, just little things like that. At the beginning, it was stuff, like I said, we were so broke and we were literally living on credit cards. So at the very beginning, it was stuff like putting gas in my car and like buying a few extra groceries for our family. Like, you know, not that I was like splurge splurging, but like little extra things that I hadn't been able to get before. Or if I had, it was all going on a credit card and we were just going to be like drowning in that debt. Um, being able to pay bills, being able to afford the house that we live in now. Um, you know, we were in this tiny little house. It has allowed me to be able to have three kids because like if we hadn't been able to move out of our little tiny house, we probably wouldn't have had our third. We, we probably would have had to stop it too because we couldn't, we literally couldn't fit another human being in that place. Um, so I, it's really hard for me to to even begin to quantify all the things that, I mean, it literally, if I try to think of an area, it's not just like think of an area that my life has been touched by. It, it, it's hard for me to think of an area that my life hasn't been touched by. I'm a better mom. I'm a more patient mom because I've worked on myself. That was one area that I was like, I, I need more patience for my kids because... I just get frustrated and fed up. So that was something I worked on. I am a better, more stronger wife for my husband. Um, and obviously my health, oh, thank you. Yeah, <laughs> um, it, yeah. And like I, I said, I don't think you had hopped on yet, but um, you know, the, getting on a live video was like so terrifying. Like my husband, he, like he had, he actually just sent me an email earlier being, he was like, I'm just like so proud of the work that you've made on yourself the last few years because I am a more fun person to be around. Like I am a much better person and I've, I take much better care of myself. I am healthier and in better shape after three kids than I was before kids by far. Even, even before I had my weight struggles, um, I was always very, very skinny, but I was not healthy. Um, I always felt like I was dragging. I was always exhausted. And just having, being like, I am almost 40 years old. I have three kids and I have more energy than I ever have in my entire life. Um, you know, there, there are just so many, literally every aspect of my life has changed because of this. And if you had told me that five years ago, <laughs> before I started coaching, I would have been like, what are you even talking about? Like, there is no way that this is even possible. And it is if you let it. And that's the thing. I've had coaches come on to my team and go. Um, I've had people who come on and don't 
don't allow this to change them. Um, you can come in and you can not put the work in and you can not, not put the work into your business. You cannot put the work into your own health and fitness and your mindset. And you're going to be very much the same, or you can open yourself to the new possibilities and the potential that lies within yourself and put the hard work in. And it literally is mind blowing what the changes are that can happen. Um, you know, and like I said, I mean, I, I like sharing the income piece because for, for me and my family, it did make such a big difference, but it also, when I look at the grand scheme of things, it really seems like a very small, like maybe almost the most insignificant piece of the puzzle, if that makes sense. Um, like my confidence, my health, my like just becoming the person that I want to be, feeling like I can finally live an authentic, um, an authentic life as a person that I I like. I love myself now, and I couldn't say that before. So um, I know I've gone on really long. I'm gonna share, like I said at the beginning, I'm gonna share a whole bunch more um, throughout the rest of the day, and it might spill into tomorrow since I got a little bit of a late start, but I'm gonna share a lot more with you. If you guys have any, 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 any questions at all, please do not hesitate to ask them. That's what this inside peek is, is for you guys to come in here and ask all the questions that you have on your mind to soak up all the information that you can about this. Um, but if, if I miss something, um, or you feel like something's not answered or you're not sure, like that's what we're here for. So do not hesitate to ask, please, please, please. Um, this group is for you. This group is not just like for me to, you know, to be blurting out all kinds of stuff and, you know, and dumping on you guys. It's for you guys also to, to be asking questions and be really active in here. So I am going to sign off. Um, I got to go. I think nap time might be coming to an end. Sadly, I think I hear some chattering in the baby monitors <laughs> upstairs, so I should go check on them. But, um, I am so glad that a whole bunch of you guys tuned in. It's so good to see a bunch of you on live and I can't wait to share more with you. Have a fantastic rest of your afternoon and I will talk to y'all soon. Bye guys.